And as those temperatures continue to drop, there are some common sense measures that you can take to help protect you and your family's health. Jana Rogers sought out some advice from area doctors. They gave us some reasons why emergency room visits go up during the extreme cold. When temperatures drop and wind chills dip into freezing territory, there's a greater chance of a heart attack. Dr. James Kravitz with Mercy Health explains blood vessels in the heart can constrict or narrow in extremely cold weather. There's a higher chance of having um, heart conditions, especially if you have underlying heart conditions and coupled with the fact that you might be shoveling snow or you might be exerting yourself. Um, so we do see that. So it's just something to keep, you know, certainly be aware of. He adds when trees fall due to the weight of ice and snow to be cautious about exertion and call experts if lines are down before you tackle the cleanup. Pediatrician John Cox emphasizes kids can lose track of time, so it's important for parents to limit time and exposure outside and watch for signs including pain, tingling, numbness, and stiffness of joints. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they're somewhere where you can see them or make sure that you have times to check in. Uh, time outside, time inside, you know, balance that out. Make sure the kids are layered up really good with something moisture wicking underneath. You don't want them getting wet. Slips and falls are common among the elderly and may require a 911 call or an emergency room visit. So check on older parents, grandparents, or neighbors. Crashes and injuries from accidents on the road can also be reduced by adding extra time and slowing down to get to your destination. Staying healthy overall helps all year round. Doctors remind us viruses, not the cold, cause illnesses. Getting proper rest, making sure you're properly hydrated, making sure your nutrition is good. Um, a good multivitamin for a kid. Common public health measures that we've, we've been hearing about, you know, wash your hands, uh, staying away <laughs> from sick people, covering our cough and those type of things. With more local news, I'm Janet Rogers.